So today's video will be a boxy charm for the month of November review. So this is the box that we got and it is bigger than the original box. And those are all the items that were in this box which is the stellar box for November. On the card they usually give you items that you can get at a discount through BoxyCharm and on the second card it lists all the items, the description and the pricing and the brands that you can that you're getting in your box. So this is the Caprice antioxidant do drops which I am absolutely loving I believe those are priced at $91 originally they gave me samples of the pretty vulgar concealers I have the dose of colors liquid matte lipstick and charm my boxy charm lily lashes and CEO boxy charm brushes which are absolutely great and very luxe and soft and they're good for blending out your concealers and then I have the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder palette this is the mini version and you guys those colors are absolutely beautiful and appropriate for fall now you can't think that we're gonna go out like this right no need for looking up trying to figure out what to do boxy charm got you covered so I'm starting off with those drops on my face as a way of priming and you guys in this video I'm only going to show the parts that um, were used with the box of charm products so I'm just rubbing the antioxidants and I was very impressed by those drops and now of course we're going straight into the eyes I already did my eyebrows off camera and prep my eyelids and I'm just demonstrating on the second eye so I'm going in with the lightest orange shade in the palette and then I'm gonna deepen up the crease with the burnt orange I don't know the shades by heart but I'll have them linked below but I did use just about all the shades in that palette One thing that I do wish that I would have done um, if I had to do anything different was I wish I would have started off with the gray packet in the outer V of my eye and then blended out the edges with the orange but I still think this look came out nice, soft but still colorful and I'm just um, basically carving out the crease using my P. Louise Rumor 5 base and yeah just carving out the crease so that those shimmers will really pop on the lid um, and I'm just going back in with the gray to blend it inward into the cut crease so that everything will transition smoothly So now time with for the brushes which is what I also got into the Stellar BoxyCharm box and I use this to blend out my concealer and my contour and you guys the brushes did a very awesome job I also used the same brush to pack on my setting powder and you guys I really do love and appreciate this brush I think this is the best set that I've had yet from BoxyCharm. Um, yeah, the best that I've had <laughs> with the BoxyCharm brushes. Because usually they give us like the Luxie brushes, but this time 
they actually well I received for the first time a BoxyCharm brand brush and again I'm using the bigger brush to blend out that contour and it did such a good job and it didn't take that long at all to do like it was just very a, a very effortless step to do so I appreciated that and it just helped my makeup look nice and well blended said previously I'm just using the smaller brush to pack on my setting powder and you just want to lightly pack on the setting powder because all we're doing is setting we're not baking um, I did later on in the video add more setting powder to sit under my eyes but that was just to catch any fallout when I do my lower lash line but I'm just setting all the places with that brush, the places where I applied the concealer. I'm lightly setting those places. And then I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush, which is the Insta Pop Face Brush by Real Techniques. And I'm just pressing that powder in just to prevent from having any flashback and to make sure the powder is transitioning in well along with the concealer so we want it to look like skin and that's how I accomplish that step so I'm taking a little bit of the P. Louise base once again for my lower lash line and then packing on that turquoise color on the lower lid and remember when I said earlier that I used almost all of the shades in this palette. Yeah, I actually did use all of the shades. And now to the lips. Um, first I'm using my Wet n Wild. I think it's the Matte Liquid Cat Suit. And I'll put the shade in the description box below. And I'm doing this first that way that Dose of Colors matte lipstick in the shade charm that one transitions well with the look um, and then I added a little pink in the palette in the inner corners of my eyes and then I top that off with a little bit of that champagne shimmer shade in the palette and yeah that pretty much completed the look and I applied the lashes off of camera of course if you like this video, you already know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe, click that bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload. And I will holler at you divas later.